So this video is going to be what happens when things go wrong. I want to talk to you guys about, look at that, Freestone Giant Alpha. So that's really nice. Thank you. I want you guys, I want you guys to follow the good and the bad of this video. So this was a deal I had purchased from um, a YouTube Patreon type person under pretty much the agreement that I share the story. So pretty much, long story short, I bought all of his product, his sealed product investment collection, whatever you want to call it, for like 30, uh, like 30 percent below my distributor pricing. So he was an investor. He was trying to collect magic and invest in the product, and it didn't work out. So I, I want people to understand the risks and the things that go on. It's not all just great. It just doesn't work easily. So anyways, this guy's name is Jade. Okay, and Jade is pretty much telling you, Rudy, thanks for buying the sealed product. You know, it was a good experience to see how it is, um, to try and make money off the sealed product. Most of the stuff is newer, so the value has not gone up a whole lot on the newer sealed product. I know, right? You can welcome to uh, every other game store in the country and everybody's concerned due to overprinting. So, with that being said, I'm okay with taking a small loss to unload it all at once. So I have to ship 60, 70 items and booster boxes separately and pay a substantial cost. So, I know this happens on the regular and literally in the market as well, but at least it's uh, easy to liquidate it all to you at once. And um, on top of that, I even gave the guy a prepaid shipping label, so he literally printed it out and just sent it to me. So, so he this letter literally says, so for all the wannabe investors in Magic, like me, who really want to get in there and buy and invest, they end up selling all of your stuff to Rudy at a loss, or going on eBay and selling at a loss, stop while you're ahead. I'll continue to, I will continue to stick to buying reserved list cards for enjoyment and investment and making money or going to index funds and mutual funds. Sorry, Rudy, I do like the stock market and mutual. That's fine. It's just not for me. Not saying it's bad. It's just not for me. So pretty much Jay is going to continue doing mutual funds, Wall Street investment, index funds. That's cool. Nothing wrong with that. He tried his hand to seal the product. Obviously, uh, it, pretty much what I'm getting at is it sounds like here, yeah, and it says he wasn't able to get and hold on to the sealed product for the 7 to 10 year time horizon to end up getting any real return on the sealed product. So, Rudy, I felt like I had to write you a note because, well, that's what everyone seems to do in your videos and send you this stuff. So, thanks again for everything. Appreciate you making the whole transaction very easy. Thank you, Jade. So, pretty much... What we're going to go over is we are going to go over this stuff. By the way, thank you very much for the Alpha Stone Giant. That was that was really awesome. You know how I love that stuff. Oh, yellow back. No, I'm kidding. So, really big fan of that. So, like I said, the purpose of this video now is I, I really want to point out this is what happened. This is what he had. This is what he invested in. This is what he bought. Let's go through it, shall we? So, again, we do have some older product. Jay, I don't know what you paid for these older boxes, but, you know, those did go up. This did go up in value. Avacyn did. So some of these sets did actually go up. Obviously, BFZ did not. But, okay. So I'm going through this. I just, I was literally going to open all this stuff, and I was like, you know what? This is going to make a great video. And he did put the note in there. And he wanted me to kind of share the story. So, whoa. That's a, that's a rough wrapper there. Um, it, see, now this is, this is an interesting part of the video I did not see coming. This is actually a really good moment right now. A lot of people feel that they see a sealed wrapper or something like this on a, on a magic box. Immediately they're like, ooh, this is actually legit. Wizards quality control was so much bullshit. Around the dragons era, there is fate dragons, even cons boxes that have this really loose shitty wrapper it is a real legit thing it's an authentic seal but it is just garbage quality so i, I do want to point that out by the way again dark ascension this was another set that did go up in value so not all these boxes were like poor investments now again i don't know hey, look at that fallen empires these were garbage 20 30 boxes for the longest time and now they're like 150 range on ebay cons again 
did go up in value. Now, you know, of course, the wild card to this video, I don't know what the guy paid for a lot of these products. So, I don't know. Wow, there's a lot of cons. Okay. So, I don't know if you overpaid for it, like, after the price increase happened. I'm not really 100% certain. But, you know, I just want to show you guys. I mean, and by the way, look how good he packed this. I have never seen shipping. This is like a, what is this? Perishable? What is this, like an apple or a fruit thing? Or Anyways, so as you can see in the first box, is this it? Oh, wait. <laughs> I totally almost just wasted that. Oh, uh, everybody's favorite. Come on, the best investment of all time. Everybody's fave. Plain chasing. I think it was one of those. 8,000 a piece, one kidney. It's like a 20 party packs to afford that. So that's the first one. <clears throat> that's the very first one. So in that first one, I don't think that's very... Those aren't bad investments. You have seven boxes of cons, of which are what, 120s on the uh, on eBay US? 150. What are the... What's Dark Ascension now, 120s? I mean, hello? Original Lily there. What is she? 300? I think she's like 280s now or something. They went down like 10% because the reprint MN 2017. Dragons out of print. Uh, I don't know, maybe 90 a box. Avacyn, come on. Was original Cavern of Souls? Grizzle brand? I think. I mean, what are those? 140s? 50s a box? BFZ hasn't moved. Still flatline. What eBay? What 89 a box? Trust me, I know. I've got, it doesn't do anything. So that's the first one. Overall, not bad investments. These are not, these, like, Jay didn't make bad decisions. That's the purpose of this video. So, looks like he tried to invest. And he also tried doing some from the vaults. Now, I don't know what you paid for these, Jade. I don't know if you were, you said you're an investor, so I'm assuming you bought these online, or I'm not really sure what you paid for these. But I'm assuming you probably paid... I mean, what's the market price in these? 30? 40? I don't, I don't know what they are now. So again, and here we go, look. Hashtag Rudy's fave. M14. Eldritch. Now we got Fate. You know, that's another... Most of these boxes are either out of print or going out of print. Now, unfortunately, as everybody knows in the industry, all these boxes are not going up in value anymore. You know, you look at a lot of these type of things. So was that five? So, and of course, original conspiracy. Absolutely amazing magic set. Original conspiracy is an incredible magic set. The value of the set, and actually, there's a ton of cards that are going like two, three, four dollars a card. Has anybody notice that? Wow, great job on the packing, man. Holy smokes. This is like an incredible pack. Let me zoom out. Look at that packaging. Look at like the, the styrofoam. Anyways, okay. <clears throat> All right, so here we go. Oh, gate crash. How everybody loves you and you never, ever do anything financially. So again, some of these boxes, like gate crash, it's dead money. There's, there's no way around it. Fantastic set. Shocklands, the rares. I mean, this, that was like all the Boros stuff. I think there's even like Boros Charm, which was like an uncommon. That used to be like a $3 uncommon, by the way. Does anybody remember that? All right, so, oh God. C2, CN2, Conspiracy Part 2. So, Conspiracy Part 2, I mean, oh, God, that's such a nasty topic for people in stores and distributors. So, the Conspiracy 2 set is an absolute bloodbath mess. There's no way around it. I mean, so I many distributors lost their ass. Stores right now are still selling Conspiracy boxes. For like $70, $75, and $80 a box. Alright. Third and final. Alright, so this is the last one. So in this one, again, let's take a look. Return to Rav. A great, great set. Again, everybody thought Return to Rav was going to be a $500 box. Both of the Gatewatch. The original Expeditions. Out of print. Actually more difficult than you think to find. But again... What do they sell for? 85 a box on eBay? 90 a box? Shadows! Same thing. Alright. Hey, look at that. There's some Origins in here. So we have Origins. 
Okay, so there's three origins. We got more oath. Maybe it looks like a case apiece. So I'm going to take a guess here that, Jade, your goal was to buy maybe like one case of every set. Was that kind of the objective here? And, and again, the million dollar question is, since you're investing in this stuff and you're holding on to it and you're not a store or anything, I have no idea what you're actually paying for this stuff. That's that's kind of the the cost basis entry point is kind of the really, really most important part of all this stuff. Because if you're getting in and you're paying $100 a box at a local store, if you're paying too much, it's going to be so difficult to get the value to go higher. And then if you want to sell it online after shipping and fees, oh my God. Oh, here's the grand finale. Everybody's favorite. And that's it. All right, we'll put you with the rest. So two more plane chase, what everybody's hopes and dreams are, right? So that's it. That's pretty much what I wanted to share. So the video, the purpose of this is pretty much, this is an individual who really loves magic. They have a passion for it. They really wanted to take it to another level. They wanted to invest in magic. I mean, the guy put it, I mean, look, there's a case of almost everything. Case of Origins, Oath, what, half a case of Rav. I mean, he bought the specialty sets from the vault. He bought older sets, out of print, out of print, old core set. Hell, original, I mean, look, look at the stuff. It's quite a bit. Oh, I'm out of breath. Jeez, that was exhausting. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. The purpose of this is, like I said, um, out of respect, I'm not going to give exact numbers, but like I said, the guy lost thousands of dollars. Mostly because he didn't have the time frame. And life got in the way. And uh, he had to liquidate to pay bills. So I hope everybody enjoyed the video. Rudy with Alpha Investments. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching, supporting, Patreon. And quite frankly, until we meet again. Thank you, everybody.